Hello guys and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials. Today we're going to take a look at an easy way of creating Ivy inside of Maya. So to get started we're going to make just a simple cube and the shape of a wall and just a simple uh, setup just so we can use it as our wall basically. We're going to make it live and after that we're going to go into generate and get brush. So this is going to open up the Maya library that uh, every Maya setup comes with. And then this is uh, basically a collection of uh, a lot of different tools that we can use. This is a uh, plants, for example, but for this tutorial, we're going to go into plant mesh and select the Ivy. Then you can just close this window and you get this pencil, which basically draws um, the ivy that we just selected. But it's not good for this case, so we're going to go to curve section, select just like a basic curve and make like any shape that you would want your ivy to look like. Then we're going to go into Generate, Curve Utilities and attach our brush that we selected to our curve. And now we're going to get this window with a lot of options. Let's uh, add the density and use normals. Uh, this is gonna help us to distribute a lot of uh, details evenly. and. Uh, how we would want them uh, in real life. Then we can uh, switch to IV1 section and adjust a scale just a bit. And here I'm going to show you uh, just a bit of options that this tool comes with. This is for creating the branches for the leaves if we ever need and uh, the optimizing um, options basically. Here we're going to twist the leaves a bit. This can be really helpful if we are creating some weird art style for our project. Here we are going through some basic options, adding some more um, density to our IV. And I would encourage you to play around with these settings a lot in your own projects because you can get pretty, pretty good results. Here we are playing with the direction for the leaves. Just let it, let's make it uh, in the middle somewhere. And here you can also um, add some additional branches, some twigs, some leaves, to some uh, flowers and buds as you might see fit in your project. So now let's uh, work on our main leaves. Here you can add more to increase the density and probably make it a bit more realistic. Here is some direction and stretching. Now we're going to increase the bases of our leaves and uh, the thickness of the base for our leaves and we're going to make the tips narrower just so it looks a bit more realistic. Some of the random uh, direction And always a good option is to turn on the leaf forward twist. It, this is the option that tries to face the camera. So we use way less uh, leaves to populate our uh, IV and it looks very, very good. And this uh, also works after exporting. And here we are reducing the poly count for the leaves just so it's more optimized. Playing with some other options 
we can make it a bit more dimensional if we want and for the end let's make them the leaves a bit more random in scale so this will be our base setup just a simple setup to showcase the um, just a bit of what can this tool do and the, how quick it can be and now we can select it and get settings from this setup that we just made and in the case that we might need to duplicate uh, this exact process or the result that we have we can make some new curves in a shape of uh, any shape basically that we might need then we select both or as many as you want and go to generate curve utilities and uh, attach just like we did the first time and you can see uh, the options translated to the curve um, just as they were set up now we can uh, convert paint effects to polygons and we are basically done uh, good thing is that when you convert the branches and the leaves are separate so you can remove or add as many details as you want basically from there to optimize uh, the whole mesh we're going to delete uh, history uh, because that sometimes causes uh, the instability in Maya and we can see that uh, uh, Maya already applies texture to it automatically and even sets up the UV uh, for our leaves so we have to do even less work with it and in the case that you might need to uh, remap the UVs or use a big um, atlas you can always do so because with the less work because we have UVs already set up and that would be it for this tutorial. Thank you again.